of the wonders of God, his ways and his promises. You got to do that. Don't lay at home if you can get up on your feet and get out. You want a change in your life? You got to change. Hosanna, the king is coming. And the writer did pick it up and said, take me to the king. Sometimes you're broken, but you need to get before the king so the king can heal, set free, and deliver you. Do you want to be delivered? Come to the house of God, the church, Zion, Jerusalem. He dwells in the midst of the church. I brought him with me. I come to testify of his goodness. Go back to... No. Let me get back to verse. Where did I stop? Ten. Nine. You're going to ten. Ten. Mm -hmm. And when he was coming to Jerusalem, all the city was moved. Boy, they was going crazy. Everybody hollering with the palm in their hands. That's what we need to say. Amen. And when he had come into Jerusalem and all the city was moved, saying, Who is this? They asked the question. What is all of this noise about? He's saving. He's coming through. The blind man said, Glory be to God. He stopped and got his attention. Laid hands on the man and the man's eyes came up. Y'all need some situation done like that? Amen. Glory to God. Let's say, who is this? Mark 11 and 15. Mark 11 and 15. And it reads, and they come to Jerusalem Go down to the 19th verse. And they came to Jerusalem. And Jesus went unto the temple. And he went into the temple. Began to cast out them that sold and bought in the temple. Say, you ain't got no business giving all the money to the, the priest and he's putting it in the, putting it in his own uh, bank account. And overthrew the tables of the He money got table. mad and he get don't fall into the hands of an angry God. God can get mad. This is where everybody talk about the good side, but there is a bad side to him. Don't get him angry. I mean, he can't come through and mess you up big time. And the seats of them that sold doves. They sold doves in the in the, in the temple. And what happened? And would not suffer that any man should carry any vessel through the temple. No vessel sold in the temple. And whatever. And he taught, saying unto them, What did he say? It is not written. It is not written. My house shall be called of all nations the house of prayer. Then this his house shall be called of all nations the house of prayer. But ye have made it a den of thieves. You have made it a den of thieves. Robbers. Read. And the scribes and the chief priests heard it. And they described the writers and the chief priests, the head chief priests heard it. And sought how they might destroy him. They tried to destroy Jesus, but you can't destroy the man. The man got too much power. For they feared him. They feared him. Because all the people was astonished at his doctrine. They was astonished at his doctrine, his teaching. And they tried to get rid of him. They, some of them rejected him. Read. And when even was come, when even was come, he went out of the city. He went on out of the city. Read. Let's go back to what verse we was at. You're going into, into 11. Into 11. He went in and he destroyed those that were selling in the temple. All right. Let's go to the 11. And the multitude said, This is Jesus, the prophet, 
of Nazareth of Galilee. And they asked the question, one particular question, in one passage of scripture. It says, can any good thing come out of Nazareth? And, you, and the answer is yes. Jesus, the son of the living God, one that can save and deliver you. And I'm going down to the 12th. And Jesus went into the temple of God and cast out all of them that sold and bought in the temple. And he overthrew the tables of the money changers and the seat of them that sold doves. Malachi 3 and 1. Right behind Matthew. What do you say? Three and one. Three and one. Behold, behold, I will send my messenger. I will send my messengers. He shall prepare the way before me. He shall prepare the way before me. The Lord whom ye seek. The Lord whom you seek. Shall suddenly come to his temple. He's going to come to his temple. Even the messenger of the covenant. Even the messenger of the covenant. Whom ye delight in. Whom you delight in. Behold, have pleasure in. Behold. Behold, look. He shall come, says the Lord of hosts. He shall come, says the Lord of hosts. Any, any other thing? That's it. That's it. Okay. He said he's going to come. The messenger of the temple, he will come. And he came to the temple, and he's, they were selling in the temple. And he said, "This is, it is written, my house shall be called the house of prayer. But you have made it a den of thieves. In Isaiah 56 and 7. And I'm going to move out your way. I ain't got much to say to you. The Lord says so. 56 and 7? No, 6, six. or oh, 56 okay. and verse 7. I'm sorry. Even them will I bring to my holy mountain. I will bring them, even them I will bring to my holy mountain. And make them joyful in my house of prayer. He will turn you around. He will loose you. Their burnt offerings and their sacrifices. Burnt offerings and sacrifices. Shall be accepted upon my altar. Shall be accepted upon his altar. For my house shall be called and a house of prayer for my, all people. Wait, hold up. My house shall be called a house of prayer for who? My people. And we have tried to make it a den where thieves go stealing and robbing. And this is what he said. And I'm going down to the 14. And a blind man and the lame came to him in the temple. He healed them. So you got to come. You can't do what you want to do. You can't be selling. You got to be praying. There's a house of prayer, you know. Somebody lame, somebody blind. They blind spiritually. Even they blind naturally. But they need to see. We've gotten away from what God had told us. And I heard a man preach the other night in Newark talking about, and, and you know, God told me one time, is there a, is not a bomb in Gilead? Is that talking about a bomb of healing? You know, when a bomb blows off, it explores. It gives away spark to get on the people, they're anointed. We sold someone so far from the anointing. Mm. So far from the knowledge we stop praying, we start trying to do what we want to do. We want to change God's word. You can't do it and be blessed. So I'm telling you now. You got to get back to that. Prayer is the one that you can lay hands on somebody and they shall be healed. That's what it really means. 